Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Electro Study. This is lecture series 7 and our introduction to IoT dealing with sensor consideration. Come let's go into the video. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment. So, when you are choosing a sensor, you have to consider different factors to choose a sensor for different application. It is not that you use only one sensor for different application. It doesn't work. You have to consider many solutions and then select the sensors based on the requirement. So, choosing a sensor in, in an IoT application is actually critical because the right sensor you choose, it is best for the deployment. Okay. If, if you choose the wrong sensor, then it will break all the feasibility of an IoT deployment. So, there are some factors that you have to consider while selecting the sensors. So, that is based on sensing range, accuracy and precision, energy and device size. So, these are the four basic things that you have to consider to design a sensor for a particular application. So, sensing range. What is the range? For sensing something, you have to set a range. That is what this means. So, this sensing range of a sensor node, it defines the deduction fidelity of that node. How much it can detect? How much far? Say, when, when you are taking proximity sensor, how far the sensor can detect? Or when you are taking temperature sensor, to how much temperature it can detect? So, it will be defining the deduction fidelity of the node. So, after setting the low and high range, you can optimize the range. So, how you can optimize the range is you can include fixed K range and dynamic K range. That is nothing but fixed K range is it will tend for a redundancy. That is, it has large number of sensor nodes. It requires different sensor nodes. It is not just one node. It will have many nodes and the sensing range of that all nodes should not overlap that is known as fixed k coverage that is you will have different nodes but all the values of that node should not overlap but if you take optimization using dynamic k coverage then it incorporates mobile sensors that is post deduction of an event say suppose i am detecting a temperature of a particular room so after detecting it incorporates such that a range can be slightly deferred and the values can be optimized right so you will be obviously setting an upper and lower bounds for the sensor to measure so example proximity sensor how much range or how much meter that proximity sensor can measure so, based on the complexity of the sensor, the sensing range also goes up. If you are using, if you want to use for a large up industrial application, then the complexity increases. Obviously, the sensing range also increases and the cost also increases. Okay. Next, accuracy and precision. So, based on accuracy, we generally know that for a best performance application, IoT application, and accuracy is also important, precision is also very important. So, that is a critical one to decide the complete application. So, the performance will be limited to a regular application domain. That is, see, I am taking standard temperature sensor. So, this standard temperature sensor can be directly integrated to different applications. So, uh, see, like day-to-day -day applications, we can start uh, integrating it, okay. So, when it is used as a regular, regular temperature sensor, it will have very low temperature sensing range. So, when it is having low sensing range, it will have low accuracy and low precision. Suppose, if this is needed for industrial application, then what happens? The precision must be increased. So, it is not just the standard temperature sensor you will be using. You will be designing a temperature sensor which will measure a very high range of temperature. So, when a very high range of sen sensing is done, obviously, there will be high accuracy and high pre precision score. So, based on the type of application you are using, you are defining what kind of accuracy and precision you are giving for a particular sensor. Next, energy. So, 
energy consumed by some sensing application is actually crucial that is it will be determining you the lifetime of the solution okay energy will determine the lifetime of the particular application say this sensor is uh, energy inefficient you are uh, telling that a temperature sensor which i am uh, affixing in my uh, room it is energy inefficient it is not giving you a uh, correct temperature inside the room so it requires the repl replenishment of its energy sources which should be done frequently so you have to maintain the energy sources so if you want to maintain the energy sources the cost becomes high and the deployment feasibility is obviously goes down you cannot see uh, keep on maintaining cannot give you good performance also so i am considering a scenario where on top of glaciers one uh, once deployed access these nodes is not possible see uh, uh, you are using windmill on top of windmill you are affixing a sensor and uh, after deploying it accessing that node of the sensor is not so easy every time you cannot climb through the windmill and see whether it is working 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 it is not it is not so so if energy requirements of the sensor is high then the deployment will not last long and the solution will be how it is it is highly infeasible right so device size so how the device size should be it should be large or small so when when it is of larger size then there is larger obstructions that is happening La when the size is large energy sh power powering should be large requirement should be large so it should not be large it should be simple human activity detector see simple human activity detector if you use if the detecting unit is too large it is it is very uh, uh, see like it is not easy to carry it anywhere you go why we have changed from uh, lan to van or wifi type because lan you cannot keep on carrying everywhere right so be, based on the size and capability we have decided wifi is better pocket wifi is better you can carry wherever you want you can recharge wherever uh, whenever you want right so you have to choose sensors which is highly energy efficient small in size and almost part of wearer's regular wardrobe that is it should be regularly maintained but the cost should not be so high maintenance cost should not be so high and it should be completely feasible giving good performance of to the application right so hope you have understood this sensor consideration stay tuned for more information thank you